Hey folks, Father Sampati from CGYDC. Today we're going to see uh, our new atom, the Blender Composite or Viewer Cache atom. So, um, with this atom, what we can do is basically we can cache our compositor um, stuff in uh, hard disk and we can play it back in real time in uh, Viewer itself. So, this is basically a fork from our VSE compositor pipeline. For these to run, we will need some decent amount of RAM actually. So the minimum requirement is, I guess, you know, 10 GB or more. Uh, if you have 10 GB or more RAM, then this one is very much suitable for you. And uh, if you don't have that much RAM or, uh, you know, that much memory, then uh, you, know, you can use the VSC compositor pipeline as well. So basically, uh, the, all the systems are same. So let's see and let's start working with it. All right, to download it, uh, go to this link, the link will be in the description and uh, go to releases and uh, download this zip file. Okay, so we have already downloaded it. So let's go to Blender and let's go to edit, preference, install. It should be in my desktop. So it is and uh, let's enable it. So um, after enabling it, what you will see that there is a Blender template and uh, there is also a Blender template name and everything so we're going to talk about it so let's see so there is two way we can start working we can directly go to the compositing here and we need to uh, disable the backdrop and we're going for our uh, image editor here so in image image editor you will see that uh, there are some stuff so use node and everything so yeah so um, in this image editor you if you press n then there is an active tool and these are the compositor cache plugins so this is the render cache this is called preview cache this is set viewer node back and this is the build cache it uh, we can also take it here image disk cache and everything is same here so we can use it like that no problem but uh, uh, you know i have a uh, layout so if i go to file import and uh, here you will find this import compositor viewer cache template so if i click it it will create a optimized solution for us if i press num and dot then we will see everything is set up for us so i'm using a dual uh, viewer system here so we can just plug it here in viewer node and uh, it will be there okay so um we are going to talk about uh, these template change later so first let's see the workflow okay so um let's import some uh, green footage here tom and uh, let's create it as an image sequence and uh, let's go for 490 frame 490 okay now if i just connect it here it will be there so 1920 yeah 10 no problem so uh you need to save it first so press ctrl shift s and uh, let's save it as desktop and i'm going to create a folder here let's name it demo and uh, let's save it as demo yeah okay so um here what we are going to do is basically simple just go for a key and uh, let's go for king and uh, i'm going to color some key here and everything is fine so if i want to see it what we can do the, this is called the, this is the timeline okay this is the timeline here uh, so what we can do is basically we can scale it down as 50 percent here as well okay so it will be much more optimized and uh, we're using uh, png with rgb you can use exr or whatever you need to do so i'm just going to use png here so um yeah so let's cache it first so if i press p uh, we can use a preview region to see the cache here so now here what we what we can do is basically we can go here and uh, we're going to create a render cache so let's see it will create a render cache for us okay and uh, let's see there we go so if i press space now you will see your thing in real time okay there we go so uh now let's see uh what these things does 
it is called preview cache it will just preview the cache here this one is called the set viewer node back so it will retrieve the you know uh, it will get back to the viewer node that means you know you can use uh, uh, I, um, uh, one viewer node as well no problem so and uh, this one is called delete cache so what does it do let me see uh, let me show you here this are everything is same actually if you have seen our previous you know thing here so um here you can see that it, it is creating a cache template for us okay and these are the cache so if i just delete the cache it will delete all the cache here okay that's it simple so now uh, if i again cache it it will create the cache you can press escape to cancel the cache and uh, as it's a half cache that means you know it will just show you these cache files you can also uh, go for 30 fps here no problem it will be there as well okay so yeah that's all uh, we can simply work with it so now uh, let's see a uh, full demo here okay here we go press the space to you know see the cache here okay so what we can do is basically we can create some uh, actually we have some quick favorites installed so I'm just going to add these quick favorite again here and uh, now we don't need this one uh, if I press Q it will create the render cache it will give you the preview cache you can set view to the viewer node again etc etc okay so let's do the cache okay and let's uh, do our masking here so if I go to the mask node now uh, we can create our simple mask here press control and uh, suppose this press alt C um yeah alt c to create the mask and uh, for mask display we're going to use uh black yeah okay simple so now uh let's garbage mask it so let's go for our mask you know and let's go for f mask as we are using a 50 percent resolution what I'm going to do is basically going to fix since uh, fixed uh, uh, fixed and I'm going to give it 1920 1080 and then we're going to you know just simply mask it so this is the garbage mask and uh, we're seeing we need an inverse so let's go for inverse and here we go okay so this is the view mask all right all right so now if i want to see if everything is working or not press p and uh, you know create a preview region here go to q and uh, render the cache to see it in effect press the space to see it in real time okay perfect so you can use one uh, viewer node as well so suppose if this is the viewer node you're using you can do it like that okay so you can pop back to set viewer node you can render the cache here okay this is also possible so we're in now render cache setup so we can set viewer node back and uh, we can do our stuff so something like you know but uh i think uh it is much more better to use a uh, two display here um yeah it will be much more easier to work with so suppose we need something like this and suppose uh, we need something like this so we can just queue and with the cache and we can see all this stuff yeah okay there we go all right so let's see a single viewer node set up here so let's go here and uh, we are uh, already in mass node so if I preview the cache it will seem show me the preview here so let's go to set viewer node back and uh, let's edit it again uh, suppose somewhere here and somewhere here okay we can see the changes here okay so uh, now let's add a mix note as well so yeah let's use a mix note and we're going to use the mat as factor and yeah let's dim it down a little bit there we go and let's use a garbage mask here 
okay so i want to see it in action so let's go to pv cache and let's preview it oh sorry not set your note and uh, let's render the cache first so it will render the cache here here we go and you can see your stuff okay so if you don't delete the cache the preview cache will be there uh, you know so if you want to get rid of all the cache previous cache you need to go to the delete cache and uh, let's go to set your note back again so that's how we can use it pretty much easily for one setup as well okay so yeah hmm. so like that there you go So let's see some different area. So I'm just going to run the cache. Okay. So let's preview the cache. There we go. All right. Set view note back. So we are in mass mode. So if I go to the view mode, it will be in view mode. Okay. So in view mode, if you need to see the cache. It will be there. All right. So, set view node back. See, that's why I want to use dual display here. So, it will be much more easier to work with. So, this will be our view node, and this will be our cache setup. Yeah. That's how we can work with it. All right. And other things are pretty much same. So, if I want to render it all together, we can just press Alt P. And let's set the frame here. So suppose something like 250 or yeah, it'll work. 250, go to 100% and let's save it as an output. So I'm just going to create an out file here. So out, uh, out. And let's go for an FFmpeg and uh, yeah, encoding Matoshka and everything. So yeah, let's render it and let's see. Render the animation and uh, let's see. And here is our output in MKV. Here we go. Alright, done. So that's how we can work with it. So now let's talk about our template. So you can find the template if you right click and extract the add on. You will find the template here. Okay, this is the com viewer template. So I have uh, made my own with this. So the template, what it does is basically it will set PNG with RGBA, uh, 1920, 10, 80, and 100%, everything is all fine. And in the color management, what it will do is basically it will set it as view transform. Okay, view transform as standard, not filmic. By default, it is filmic, it will transfer it to standard, number one. Number two is it will enable the use nodes. It will give the performance render high, edit low, 256 by 256 and open seal. So these are actually the most performant uh, setup for Blender Compositor. So I have just included all of these settings here. And uh, what other things, what we can do is basically the template. If you want to change the template for yourself, suppose you want to use a single template here then you can do it like this and you can also change your name com viewer to my com viewer suppose i'm just going to give you this example my com viewer okay so everything is same and everything is done so let's put control s uh let's uh, create another template so it should be named it as my template okay and i'm just going to save it here okay let's close it and let's start blender so this is the my template blend okay so let's start blender again here we go and if i go to the edit and if i go to the preference if i go to the i don't know let's go for comp comp here yeah. so in preference we're using our blender template and this is called com viewer so it will be changed as my com viewer because we have let me show you because we have my com viewer seen here okay number one and uh, the blender template which one we want to use 
suppose I want to transform it in desktop yeah yeah so let's use the desktop one we have here so this is the my template dot blend so let's accept it from now on and if you save the preference here yeah? preference so from now on file import if you import this it will import your my configure and it will import your template okay there we go all right so that's how we can work with it so i don't want to so let's go to edit preference and i'm just going to reset to default reset to default and i'm going to save the preference and now let's go to file new journal don't save now if i import my default one it will be my default one which comes with the blender plugin itself and it is installed in your plugin directory all right so that's how we can work with it and that is it i'm father Sampati from city virus and we're going to see you next time bye bye